What's going on, hustlers? Back at you guys with another video. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be discussing the five craziest things that either I personally have sold or Two Lions Aerospace has sold um, to the government. This is going to be a short video. I'm not going to make it too long. I'm just going to address two elephants in the room. Why am I wearing sunglasses indoors? Because the Turkish Airlines flight attendant on my way back from Thailand threw away my contact solution. So I fell asleep with my contacts in and I got pink eye. I'm a human being. I have ups and downs, highs and lows, just like you. Um, for the most part, I'm an Iron Man, like 95% of the time, but that was the one 5% of the time where I got nixed. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. So number one, and I'm just gonna, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put the craziest thing at the end. I'm gonna go backwards. Um, and this is stuff that either I've personally sold or somebody at Two Lines Aerospace has sold. Um, and then I've like overseen the packaging. So number one, if, and you might've heard this from an, in an interview that I did, bread knives. So they bought these freaking serrated bread knives. And I'll tell you guys like exactly where they, I'll, I'll tell it was DLA, um, troop support. I'll tell you guys the agency that bought them as well. So it was DLA troop support. And they bought these serrated bread knives. And I'll tell you how many we bought too. I think it ended up being like 24 or something. And they wanted them like very specifically in like this laminated pack. And then they had to be with foam. And then they had to be sealed because these things were sharp as hell. Like they had to be like these specific serrated bread knives. Um, so DLA Troop Support bought a pack of 24 serrated bread knives. That's number one. Number two, and I helped package these. I didn't bid on them, but I helped package them. My mom freaking sold these pants, like these cargo pants. And the end use actually ended up being for, um, this actually wasn't even for DLA. This was actually for pros, which is the Air Force's bid board, which is like a whole other different level of sauce, which if somebody signs up um, for coaching with Namiad, I think you get to the point where you're like, okay, I need some additional sauce. Like I want even more um, like free game, like something even less competitive than DLA and then you want to get into pros that's some sauce that I can give you nobody on the like yeah there's other people talking about DLA nobody's talking about pros pros is the internet's bid board um and it's a lot different than than DLA in the sense that like the competition is a lot lower um it's just kind of harder to get your foot in the door but if you guys want to know how to do that I'll I can give that sauce to the clients and to the students but pros wanted 40 pants like combat pants and it was for the Air Force. But these had to be like a very specific color. Like I distinctly remember they had to be blue. And we got them from like this like military clothing store. Like literally just online, just like a freaking Google search. We found them. Um, but then we ended up buying them. And then the government was like, oh, they need to be like 34 length or something like that. And we ended up thinking, oh, our margins were so good because we got them for dirt cheap. Um, because we bought them for like freaking 40 length. We bought them for like a 6'5 human being. So then we ended up having to return them and then get like these 34 length ones, which our margins were still good. But um, yeah, pros bought 40 pairs of pants for the Air Force. Um, what's going on, hustlers? Little intermission, quick update for you. Um, so we have a new PDF and the PDF discusses um, everything, the steps that we use to take Richard from 100K to 500K in under nine months. So we got a new PDF. We're hosting a free webinar on June 15th um, explaining government contracting. It's free, but it's limited to 100 people. And then for those of you guys that wanted some insight about Lucy, um, that webinar is going to be your opportunity to sign up. Lucy's go beta testing is going to be limited to the first 25 people. You're going to use my code, code DAY, D-A-Y, to get 25% off. So you're going to get $50 off. And you're going to get access to the beta testing for Lucy. And then I want to give you guys an update about the packaging video. Um, so I just, I actually got really sick once I got back from Thailand. So I'm all better now. Um, and then coincidentally, I slept for two days straight with my contacts in. So I'm also getting over like a case of like pink eyes. So my eyes are swollen. Um, but that video is actually going to be getting filmed this week. The package in video that's getting filmed this week. And then I want to give a shout out to Luis. Luis won his first contract in a little over three weeks. I want to give another shout out to Amos. Amos won a contract for thirty-four thousand um, dollars, and then there was somebody else who won a contract, who won their who won their first contract. But shout out to all of all of those people um, who won. And again, if you notice, all this stuff is happening in under forty-five days. I'm giving people the method. So shout out to uh, sh oh, and shout out to Michael, Michael as well. Big shout out to Michael. Um, for winning his first contract in like 28 days or something like that. So shout out to all those guys for winning their first contract in under 45 days. 
new PDF, DM me on Instagram for it if you want that method. Just tell me if you want the acronym one or the Richard one. Um, and keep in mind, you must be following me for a response. Okay, cool. Back to the video. Love you. Number three, ladders. God damn, the time we sold ladders. So this was DLA um, distribution. DLA distribution bought these ladders. And if I'm not mistaken, it was 400. And we, this was so crazy because we had ladders literally like in our office, in our conference room, in our bathroom, in our warehouse, like in our cubicles. We had ladders everywhere. Um, thankfully, it was commercial packaging. And then we didn't really have to palletize them because it was QP001. Um, but yeah, they sold ladders and then we had to have like a freight forwarder come. Um, we paid for the shipping, but the margins on that were really damn good. That was just crazy because DLA Distribution wanted a shitload of ladders. So that was a crazy experience. Um, the second or the fourth thing, and this is actually the first contract that I ever won. I will never, ever forget this. Um, and I, I worked on this for like two days. And I normally don't advise you guys to ever chase something for two days straight. But this is the one time that, that I did it because this was... Um, like my first like actual contract. The very first one contract that I won, it was an IDIQ, which I talk about in my video where I'm like, where I say how I won my first contract. That was an IDIQ, it was for 164,000. This one was for, if I'm not mistaken, I think $4,000. And this one was for some power strips. And I got them from B&H Photo. Best Buy had them, but then I did more market research and then I saw that B&H uh, Photo actually had them. So um, I tracked them down and then I had to make a supplier account and they were just like busting my balls about getting these freaking power ships. I don't know why. I think it was because I know exactly what it was. They advertised that they had like 134 in stock. DLA needed like 90 something. So I said, okay, I want to buy all 90. And then B&H Photo were pissed because they're like, okay, yeah, we advertise 130, but we have 90 at like different warehouses. And I was like, I need them all shipped to like one place. And, um, they were like, oh, we need them all. I, I said, oh, I need them all shipped to one place. And they were livid about that. They were like, fuck, now we have to consolidate all of these into like one big um, order and, and ship them. But that was my first one. And I think ended up making like 15% on it. I don't remember what number I just said for the profit. And I don't want to say something else to make it seem like I'm contradicting myself. But take 10% of the number that I just said like 60 seconds ago. And that was my profit on that one. And then the fifth thing, the craziest thing I've ever sold to the government, and this one I'm like very proud of, because if you actually watch the podcast that I just did with Jack Hopkins, which was a great episode, please go watch that. He was like, oh, what you do is like war dog, but you're not selling like guns and ammunition. And I love when people say that because then I get to be like, no, actually one time I did sell a weapon. Um, I sold a Gatling gun, like a big ass Gatling gun that gets mounted on a Black Hawk helicopter. And it was sick. It came in like a big cardboard box and then like the letters were spray painted on it and it literally looked like something out of Call of Duty and it was so freaking heavy, bro. And those things are so big. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, probably like my bed is like right behind me. I think it was like the length of like my bed, maybe even a little bit longer. But yeah, that thing was, that thing was sick. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Video is going to be dropping every single day this week because I was gone and traveling in Thailand, so I felt bad. Thank you guys. Love you.